welcome back to my channel, Living Life with Serenity. My name is Char, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. I post every Saturday. Today's video is a product review, but it's not the kind of product review you might expect. This product is actually a Jeep book. I got this from a Jeep Girls Connect uh, group that I'm in. It's a pen pal group. And my pen pal sent me this book for Easter. So I kind of wanted to review it if you are a Jeep lover like me, you like anything Jeep related, you might enjoy this book. I know I did. It has seven chapters and 197 pages. And I'm going to give you a little flip through so you can see all the wonderful uh, pictures. It has some great illustrations and pictures. So here, let me show you a quick flip through of the book. As you can see, there are some really great old photos of Jeeps. I'm going to give you a little bit of a synopsis that's on the back of the book, and I'm going to read it to you. This book is, the Jeep represents one of America's greatest automotive contributions. From spare, tough, wartime transports to outsize over-the-top luxury vehicles. In Jeep, the history of America's greatest vehicle, the automotive writer Patrick R. Foster details over 70 years of Jeep vehicle design and production. Beginning with Jeep's birth as a crucial component of the American World War II, Foster expertly narrates the story of the corporate shift, financial struggles, and successes, close calls, and above all, the enduring machines that have carried Jeep from the early 1940s to today. It's a beautiful tribute to the company that never quits. So, yeah, Jeep, the history of America's greatest vehicle, written by Patrick R. Foster. Now, the introduction was uh, all about Forge in the War, tales of wartime Jeep adventures, where the trusty Jeep saved lives. Uh, the introduction in chapter one was my favorite part of the book. I'm all about the early history of the Jeep. Chapter one is all about the legend is born from 1940 to 1941. It's all about the history of Willie's Overland and Bantam Motors and their roles in developing the wartime Jeep. 
Chapter two talks about the Willys Overland and Willys Motor years from 1946 to 1963. About the peacetime and military Jeeps produced by Willie Overland and its successor, Willie's Motor. Chapter 3 is about Mr. Kaiser's Jeep, 1964 through 1969. In 1963, the Kaiser industry changed the name of the company to Kaiser Jeep Corporation. It tried to grow the company in America and laid the groundwork for Jeep's amazing popularity overseas. Chapter 4 talks about American Motors takes the wheel from 1970 to 1987. Jeep's ownership transfers to AMC and Jeep's U.S. business grows nearly 700%. Chapter 5 talks about Chrysler in Command from 1988 to 1998. The Leco years and how Chrysler Corporation built a whole new Jeep organization. One that could take the company to the next level. Chapter 6 is all about a Daimler Chrysler fiasco from 1999 to 2007. The Daimler Chrysler merger and how the German corporation caused Jeep to lose its way. And the last chapter of the book, chapter seven, talks about tragedy and triumph, 2007 through 2015. Jeep's comeback was temporarily derailed by Chrysler's bankruptcy but the division has since been able to pull itself out of the basement and on to record-breaking years. So that's a little synopsis of each chapter of this book. I truly, truly enjoyed reading this book. As an avid Jeep lover, uh, being able to, you know, read the history all the way up from 1941 all the way up to uh, nearly today, it was a really, really, really good book. So if you're a Jeep lover, I highly recommend that you get this book to have in your collection. I know I love to have it. So thank you, Michelle, for sending me this book. I hope you enjoyed today's product review. It's not the normal type of product review that I uh, typically uh, film, but I thought it was really cool because I really enjoyed that book and I wanted to share it with you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, live life with serenity. Until next time. Bye.